Hey there, everybody. I'm John Muir Laws. Today, I want to share with you two books that I think you'd be really interested in having on your Nature Journaler bookshelf, both by the same author. One has been around for a long time and may already be on your bookshelf. If so, it deserves a second look. If not, it deserves its first. The second is the third edition, um, a revised edition um, by another book, by same author, by Claire Walker Leslie. Um, so we're going to be taking a look at Nature Drawing a tool for learning and keeping a nature journal. And both of these uh, really useful books for our nature journaling bookshelf. Let's take a look under the hood. So this is Nature Drawing, a tool for learning. And just the title of it really sets the stage that it's not about making pretty pictures. It is a way to engage with the world and make our brain bigger. And this just like this was my kind of an original how to do nature journaling book. Um, I got it when I was in in high school and it just it set the stage for how I think about best practices in in both nature journaling and art education today. It's chock full of just little diagrams like this little diagram right here is so packed with ideas that um, it, it's, 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 a, it's just a, it's a, it's a lesson, not just in how to draw, but in how to teach, how to teach these practices. So this was, was my original guidebook. And it is, you know, filled with sort of, you know, seasonal ideas, location ideas, different topics. You know, here you're in how to draw trees, and she's working the the, the the cones, and she's got examples from all sorts of, of other people. Really, really rich book. So here, mammals. As you go through the book, you'll see, you know, birds, then insects, different categories. There's a section on uh, nature journaling with, with, uh, with, with pages from all sorts of, of different observers. So this book set the stage for how I think about uh, what I'm doing when I'm uh, working with my nature journal. Um, again, by Claire Walker Leslie. It's now out in, in subsequent editions. There's different covers, some new content in it. But um, Claire Walker Leslie continues to be um, just a, a, a key thinker in nature journaling. She set the stage. She may have coined the term nature journaling. And um, so this new book by her is a really accessible, clear way to, to, to kind of get into, get wrap your head around a bunch of nature journaling and graphic recording drawing skills. So at the start, oh, getting started. <laughs> Good thing to have at the start. So she she's gonna walk you through basic ideas in setting up your, so why you're doing this, how to set up your gear, examples of of the key stuff here she's talking about mindfulness about healing about kind of making connections with the world and yourself and it's it's such a a, a beautiful way to begin she then gets into your logistics what you're going to to bring with her so she doesn't go for fancy tools and things. She's got a very simple, I think, Prang uh, watercolor set and um, a very small set of tools. And so she's not, she doesn't get fussy about, you know, like you have to have this pen, you know, but, you know, here's, here's, you know, she's just got a regular ballpoint pen that she does a bunch of her sketching with. Um, and then she walks you through beginning exercises. So I can't draw, how do I do that? Here are, so she'll give examples of some fundamental, um, fundamental ideas and principles. Again, very often in her diagrams, when you look at how she's doing, there'll, there'll be one diagram, but it will be, there'll be so many little mini lessons in them. And so that's something that I, I really enjoy about her stuff. You look at how she diagrams things, from her workshops, and there'll be lots of little sort of sub jewels packed into those. Then she gets into these sort of, 
Oh, she, the book also has examples from all sorts of different people. Ooh. And the, so you'll, you'll see that nature journaling isn't supposed to look one way. And the way that you approach it is, is good. And so you can use ideas from other people, but you're not going to be just locked into one way of doing it because you're going to have the smorgasbord of other people's work. So then she's going to go into kind of different groups of, of, uh, of, of organisms and of phenomena that you could explore. So starting with the sky and then botanical things, she then moves on to different um, animals, birds, mammals. So she's giving you her basics of how, when she, when she looks at this critter, how she's going to kind of block that out. And these are really solid lessons. So there's not a lot of, of, of fluff in here. And she's all about sort of telling you how she goes about doing these different sorts of things. It's useful to see what are her foundation lines. Um, I find her, her thinking, her guides on these sorts of things, such a, a helpful resource and, and reference. So I, I still am going back to this book and thinking about like how, um, if I'm gonna be teaching a class on drawing trees, a great way to start is I'll look at what does Claire Walker Leslie say about drawing trees? And then um, uh, you'll, you'll see also an evolution of her thinking and now with color um, in, this, in this book. Just really, really useful, useful guides to getting you started, uh, helping you launch into any kind of uh, subject that might feel intimidating to you. And then just to do that wherever you are. A really accessible, welcoming guide to keeping your own nature journal. So thank you, Claire Walker, Leslie. Um, you did it again. This is such a, a useful, beautiful book.